Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. If you're into history and language, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so you never miss a word. Today, we're going to look at the word news. Noun. Stories and details of recent events being communicated between people. History and etymology. Well, who would have guessed where people go for their entertainment? They also go for their news. Turns out, news is the plural form of the root word for novel, as, as in a long work of prose, generally fiction. This original word was nouvelle, which in modern French means news. But the older meaning for the word referred to short printed works produced in the early years of the invention of the printing press. These works could be jokes, humorous stories, fairy tales, or even news. You see, news is just a plural of new thing. So it means new things. And when people wanted to read something new, they would go to where they would buy or could find new things. I guess you could call those newsstands. Before the proliferation of the printing press, the new information about current events was called tidings. That was the word, tidings. Or in Old English, tidings, from the Proto-Indo-European td, meaning a division of time or a small slice of time. Thank you for watching. This word deserves a little bit more delving in the future. So I'm going to plan on doing another video on this, spending a little bit more time on the prescription and commentary section of it. Um, Right now, I'm still working on just trying to get in the rhythm of doing more content more often because I think for my style of content, the short videos, it really needs to be daily. Just to, because I'm writing a dictionary, so I need to have words that people can look up. So, again, thank you for watching. If you feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and subscribe, and make sure you share it with a friend. Until next time, keep on learning.